So what does that have to do with the COVID vaccine? Well, let me just read you some, some details on the um, three main vaccines. When it comes to Pfizer and Moder Moderna COVID-19 vaccines, fetal cell line HEK293 was used during the research and development phase. It was used during testing of the vaccine. All HEK293 cells are descendant from tissue taken from a 1973 abortion that took place in the ne Netherlands. For the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, fetal cell lines were used in the production and manufacturing stage. To make the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, scientists infect, um, infect per C6 fetal cells lines to grow on the uh, adenovirus vector, and you can read more about that if you want, but all of those cells used to manufacture the Johnson & Johnson vaccine are descendant, those per C6 cells are descendant from tissue taken from a 1985 abortion that took place in the Netherlands. So look, turn to James chapter one. Now, the, the people that, you know, the de Christian denominations, and we'll get to them in a minute, that say, oh, this was back in 1973 and 1985, and you know, this, this doesn't cause any more abortions. But here's the thing, turn to James chapter one. Turn to James, first of all, does the length of time that has, you know, s gone by since a murder happened, does that change the morality of the murder itself? I mean, what in the world? I mean, give me a break. But, and then another thing is they'll do is they'll create a straw man argument. Secular people will create a straw man argument and say, Christians think that, you know, these vaccines are injecting fetal cells into themselves. You know, look, that's not, look, the fetal cell lines were a tool that was used to create the vaccines. They were a tool. Now, would a godly solution, let me ask you this Bible believing Christian, would a godly solution would a solution that God approves of use a murdered child as a tool to create that solution? That's what you have to ask yourself. All techno, look, there are, look, there's invent, is there not inventions that, that further mankind that are good? One of my favorite ones is electricity. You all know this. It's a good invention. Guess what? No unborn children had to be murdered to create the induction motor. Amen. It's a good gift. We can look at that as a good gift. That is something that God allowed that is good. If you say anything invented, you know, isn't that good? Well, not if it create, it's created through murder. That's not a good gift. So look, all solutions don't require murdering children to invent them, is what it boils down to. And because I do not believe that the solution came from God, I'm going to stay far away from it myself. Why? Why? Because I believe that it is very provable from the Bible. I'll show you in a few minutes that there is judgment coming on this. There is judgment coming. There is judgment coming to this country. There is judgment already coming to individuals involved in this. I'll show you that as well. There is judgment according to the Bible and what the Bible tells us. There is judgment coming because of the abortion holocaust that has happened in this country. And I do not believe that any solution that has anything to do with that, that uses that as a tool, is good. And if it's not good, it's not from God.